Welcome to episode 5 of Dalek Dories. Today we're looking at uh, preparation and assembly for the hemispheres for the Dalek. On an NSD model Dalek you need 56 hemispheres and we're making ours, as a lot of builders do, out of plastic Christmas baubles. Uh, these are available um, through the internet. I got approximately um, 40, so 80 halves for $60 Australian roughly. So it works out round about a dollar a hemi, a little bit uh, less because I've got a number of spares. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm working on these in sets of eight because it's uh, effective for the glue, the epoxy that I'm going to use in a minute. Um, gives me time to work with it before it hardens and also it just helps to break the job up because 56 of them is quite a lot. First thing I do is I use a razor saw and I just remove the tabs. So about halfway through, just snap the tab off. So once you've removed the tabs from all eight, the next step is to just give the piece where you've taken the tab off a little bit of a sand. Now these will be hidden by the oil seals on the Dalek anyway. So you don't need too much, I'm just using a bit of an inventory board and I'll just give it a quick sand. Just to take the rough edges off. And again, I repeat that eight times. And finally the last one. The next step in preparation is to glue a bolt in them. This bolt will go through the skirt of the Dalek and will allow us to fix the Hemis and the oil rooms to the side of the Dalek skirt. In this case I'm using M6 6mm 75mm long nylon bolts. I'm using nylon bolts because I had some available and whilst a minor difference Everything you can do to cut down the weight in the Dalek will make it easier when it's trundling. So, get eight of these. So eight of the bolts ready. And then I've just raided the kitchen. We've got a number of plastic cups, eight of them. As you can see, they've got uh, the washers and the nuts in. But, it's just a side effect. What I'm doing with these at the moment is I'm using them to hold the domes. What I've found is there's a little bit of give and take when you screw them on um, to get them flush. They don't have to be 100% perfectly square, you just try to get them square by the eye. And the pull against the side of the Dalek will naturally straighten them as they're not too out of whack. So I just put them in cups like that and with naked eye or you could use a uh, square if you needed to or a spirit level. So as you can see just eyeball them to get them reasonably level. Next thing we do is get the epoxy glue ready. I'm just using the lid of a plastic container to mix it in. Got a tube, in this case it's Tarzan's grip, but any brand's okay, of five minute epoxy. High strength all purpose. About six dollars a tube. I've estimated I'll use two tubes for the uh, total of the fifty-six hemis. Only got a little bit left, just a piece of balsa wood I've got to mix it up. Mix it up well. Wrap it onto the balsa, make sure you don't trip it, and then just let it run. Good size, generous dab. It'll cover the head of the bolt. And because that tube's just run out, I have to open another tube in a minute to do the other five. 
I was seven, sorry. But I take my bolt, stand it in the epoxy, and then just eyeball it to make sure it's pretty square and leave it to dry. So I've got a new tube here, that tabs off the end. Get a little cover to cover it so that it doesn't mix out the leak anymore. Slightly relieve the pressure. Mix it up with the stick again. But it's sort of cloudy when you're mixing it. Once it's all the same colour and consistency, you know it's reasonably well mixed. And then again, just a drop in the bottom of each one. About the size of a uh, Australian five cent piece, an American penny, I suppose. Not sure. Current UK coinage. Five new pence, maybe. And the final one. You can put more epoxy. I know some people have half filled their uh, hemis with resin to hold the bolts in place. Some people use an MDF disc and glue that into the hemi, put the bolts through that. But so far with a little bit of trotting around that I've done with trouble test ones of these, I found it to be pretty strong and certainly the lightest way of doing it. And anything you do, even if you're only saving 15 grams, by the time you multiply that across 56 hemis, it all adds up. As I put it on, I'm just going to a bit of a twist around to get them plenty of epoxy around them. Again, just check they lined up, and then we leave them to dry for about 5 minutes. So we've given them about five minutes and now they're quite strong and dry. So then what we do, add them to our growing collection. So before we look at priming the hemis, I'll just show you how it all goes together once we've got them done um, with the seals that provide the surround. As you can see on this model Dalek, the NSD model has rings that go around the hemisphere. They were actually made out of oil seals. There's a lot of different ways this can be achieved. Some people have cut pieces of PVC pipe. Some people have um, laser cut them out of MDF. Some have resin molded them from a mold taken from the original oil seals. In my case, I was lucky enough to get a uh, reasonably good deal for the actual original seals. And managed to pick up 56 of them. It's not the cheapest option, but I was able to get them posted to Australia for around $120. So for 56 hemis, that's about $2 a hemi, which given the amount I'm spending on the rest of the project, I considered was a reasonable compromise. You've got to remove the metal spring out of each hemi. Just pulls out, can be thrown away, and that forms the surround. As you can see, Dome fits nicely into it. On this model, it actually shows them in gold, but in reality, if you look at photos of NSDs and that, they're actually black surrounds around gold hemispheres. The other thing you can see here is, as I mentioned earlier, when you sand in the lip where the tab's been removed off the hemi, once it's in the surround, you can't see it. In this case, there it is there, but you pop it in. You can't see it. So, all we've got to do to fix it to the side of the Dalek, assuming this is the Dalek skirt, is you pop the ring 
into the hemisphere, pop the hemisphere through, get a washer, and a nut, pop the washer on, and do up the nut. Once these are finally mounted for the last time on the skirt, I will probably then cut the uh, back of the bolt down a little bit so it doesn't jut out so far just past the nut. So there, as you can see, holds it firmly in place. And if you picture that being a gold hemisphere, it's very effective and relatively easy. So I've just made up a board um, to fix the hemis too so I can paint them. They just bolt on, same as they'll do onto the skirt of the Dalek. So I just get them on finger tight. And I use a bit of MDF here I've got on the table just to stop getting sprayed everywhere. In the end the uh, undercoat acrylic I've decided to go with is an acrylic matte black. Because I'm using an acrylic auto spray, using an acrylic um, undercoat, and also uh, seems to work well. Like always, give your can a good soak. And the secret with spraying is lots of light coats. Spin it around. Before uh, I painted these, I also gave them a wash in uh, warm soapy water, the hemispheres, after the uh, bolts had been glued into them. Just cleans any grease from fingerprints and anything else off them, helps the paint stick, stops any blemishes. So just a very light coat of black, and then we'll let that dry for five minutes and then give it another coat. Okay, the acrylic undercoat dries fairly quick, quickly, so I'll just give it a second coat. A little bit heavier this time now, the paint's got something to stick to. You just don't want it too heavy that you're going to get runs from the paint. Stickly around the edges tends to not pick up so well. That's one of the advantages of having it on a board like this, because you can turn them around to get the angle you need. Fairly thorough coating, so now we'll let that dry for five minutes and we'll do the top coat. Okay, so the black's now dry, so now we'll go on to the top coat. Uh, I'm using a Duplicolor spray match, which means it's one that uh, has been mixed in the shop. The colour I'm using is one that a number of the local builders uh, have uh, gone with. In Australia, it's called E32, it's a Nissan greenish gold. And if you go into uh, Auto Pro or similar auto suppliers like that where they can pre mix aerosol cans, that's what you ask for E32 Nissan Greenish Gold. Um, about $28 for a pre mix can, but two pre mix cans will do all the gold you need to do on an MSD. It's in a really good shape. Auto acrylics are very thin, so when it goes on initially, very thin. So you do a couple of thin coats. And again, the key thing is to make sure you don't get it on too thick so that it doesn't run. So that's enough for the first coat. You can still see the black showing through a little bit, but you let it dry. This only takes about three or four minutes to dry. So after about three or four minutes they're dry, just make sure they touch dry, and give them a second coat. With the uh, auto spray I find it handy to just give it a first spray just onto a spare bit of wood or cardboard or something. Just stops there being any little globs coming out. Which once you get one on your hemi, it can take quite a bit of work to remove it and hide it. 
So you're getting lots of nice little light coats. Should be good coverage. Make sure you do it in a uh, ventilated space too, and preferably uh, either put the hemispheres outside or leave the room yourself between coats. So there we go, four hemis, we'll just leave those to dry. So once the second coat is dry and you've got a good coverage and you're happy with the coverage, they can be removed from the board. I am going to cover them all with a coat of uh, top coat clear acrylic which is designed for car finishes but in this case I'm going to do that a little bit nearer the end of the process when I'm uh, closer to being able to fit them onto the actual dolly. Um, just give me a last opportunity to fix up any imperfections and things before I give them the clear coat. So there we go, 56 Emmys. Thank you for joining us at Dalek Diaries.